Hey guys, how's it going out there? So I wanted to give you guys a quick demo of how I built my uh, six GPU graphics card mining rig. Um, you can use it for Ether, Litecoin, Dodge, um, multiple other things. And so obviously I love Bitcoin mining, but I found an alternative way, which I'll explain in another video, um, of using GPUs to get um, Bitcoin. So. And this, I built myself a rig, and I'm actually going to build a second one. And I wanted to cover real quick on how I did it and give you guys a quick demo. So let me show you what the rig is. So the graphics cards go on the top. All six of them right here. Power supply. And obviously I'm missing a few parts, but we'll figure that out later on. So the parts we're going to need for this... It's going to be a drill, a couple drill bits, um, maybe a clamp, level would be nice, a few screws, these little brackets I got from Lowe's which were really really handy, these little L brackets. So uh, you can see I used them to support the power supply, flatten one down to anchor it in. Um, for spacers. All I did was buy some just plastic tubing. I think it was 15 cents a foot. Just use tube cutters. Um, just cut out every piece I need. And that's how we got the motherboard on the risers. So pretty simple, pretty cheap, basic setup. You're going to need some wood or you can use some of this uh, angle aluminum. I chose wood because I have it. It's cheap. It's in the garage. So you're going to need three pieces, 21 inches long. You're going to need nine pieces, 15 inches long, which I should go ahead and probably move the tape measure over for you guys so you can see. There you go, 15 inches long. These little boards are two inches wide by five and a quarter inches long. And we use these to support the um, PCI ex uh, Express slots. So, all right, guys, I'll do the next phase. I'm gonna hit pause on the video now. Okay, so the next part is to build the first uh, wing right here, the first half. So this is it, upside down. I've already put the left leg on. Now the right leg, all I did was hold it into place, take my drill bit, pre-drill the wood straight down. I'm going to switch my drill bit to the thicker one, do a small tap hole so it countersinks, and then put my two inch screw in, which are right there. All right, so I've got the first wall complete with screws in it. I've got to put the second wall together, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay, I've got the both legs done now. This is leg one, and then we've got the leg two over here. So the trick to making the, le or the lower support uh, just to save wood, I decided to match it to the motherboard that I am going to use. So I found three rows on my motherboard. Screw one, there's another screw over here, right there and right there. So I lined them up, marked them on the board, so I would mark them. Take this one, move it back. Stand it up. Okay, so now you've got your base frame. Now we'll pause it again. So we have to insert the uh, lower support right on the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. Forgot to mention previously, I would mark both sides so that when you put them in, they're exactly lined up. Okay, this is just put in place. I've not screwed anything off yet. So I've got everything lined up, and this is how it should look. Now you're ready to drill your holes and screw them off. So I find the easiest way to go ahead and drill the pilot hole and line everything up is to hold it in place with your fingers like so. Use your line. And I'm going to have to set my camera down to pull the drill out, but then you just use your hand and drill it straight down and then pull it out. 
Ran into a little bit of technical error. I had a drill bit break on me in the wood, so I had to uh, cut another piece real quick and uh, re regroup. So I'm getting ready to put the last arm on here, as you guys can see. Okay, so now I've got the main part of the frame together. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is think about putting in the side arms the last two 15 inch ones which are gonna go oh, they're not gonna stick roughly right here on the side like so but we've got to figure out the height and everything else before we can install those so my next step is to build our six card array what we're going to use for that is this. I'm going to pause it. Alright, I went ahead and made some marks on this board to make this a lot easier. So the spacing, what I did was one inch between each one of these space or boards. So I came over here and I took a board and I marked off the width. You can see a little line right there, now you can see it. And so I went from that line, one inch over, put our board. Marked one inch, put the board, two inches. One inch, two inches. One inch, two inches. One inch, two inches. Went ahead and marked everything out. And now I'm going to screw them into place using these shorter three-quarter inch, maybe one inch screws. All right, had a little bit of a malfunction, unfortunately. I didn't pre-drill a couple of them trying to save time. And the wood split on me, so I made I had to cut a couple of more. So I've got the wood pre-drilled and set. So the way this setup is going to go is this, let me get you a better angle. Yeah, so this is going to be mounted by a side bracket here and also one on the left. Now the key to this is getting the correct height. There's two ways of doing this. You can either go ahead and mount this and use the metal bar as a float bar, which I'll show you in a second as an example, or you can fix that bar like I did on the first rig and find the exact height with this one. The easiest way to do that is to go ahead and take your uh, USB uh, PCI Express slot extender and go ahead and mount them on the board. Take an extra graphics card, which I've got one over here. It's got an old, uh, actually still works, but it were, it's an older graphics card. Take your graphics card, mount it in the slot. Okay, once you have it mounted,